Hi, it's Zan back from the Olympics Cube, and today I have the long overdue second episode of my Q&A. So let's get started with the questions. The first question comes from 42 Cuber who asked, um, if I could have dinner with three Cubers, who would they be? And obviously there are a lot of potential choices for this question, um, but I would have to go with puzzle monitors for this one because um, I respect what they do the most. So um, it could be any three puzzle monitors, um, but the three that come to mind would be uh, Tripoom, Oscar, and Tony Fisher. Um, of course, there are many more that I would love to meet, um, but those are the three that I thought of. Kwakunada asks, um, what music do you listen to? If you look in my playlist, I have a YouTube mix of the Fat Rat stuff, which was introduced to me um, from Jared Huber's Unplugged channel, because he left the name to the music in his time lapses. And uh, I thought it was really cool. It was uh, electronic music. So I uh, looked up the artist, and I really liked uh, the YouTube mix that whoever put together. So I use that for cubing now because it has a really nice constant beat in the background. And I find that like relaxing in a way when I'm cubing. It helps me to focus more. Um, but as for, like, favorite genre, uh, I wouldn't choose electronic. I would probably choose uh, classic rock, like Jimi Hendrix, ACDC. I enjoy that stuff as well. Louis Gabison asks, uh, do my parents uh, get mad at me for cubing so much? Uh, no, not so much. But uh, they do get mad sometimes uh, by me buying so many cubes. If anything, that would be it. Daniel Passion, I don't know how to pronounce that last name, sorry if I said it wrong, asks, uh, where do you live? Uh, I actually live on Kepler 22C. It's in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, it's in the Andromeda Galaxy, if you didn't know, so if you're around that area, you can come and drop by and say hi. Cube Smitty asks, um, what cube do I solve the most? And what is my favorite event? So I have four events, skewed pyraminks, 2x2, 3x3. I solve 3x3 three three the most, and I get uh, better at that event the slowest. So, I mean, sometimes that's how it is, but I put a lot of work into 3x3. Three three. However, because of all that work and such little output from it, I don't really like 3x3 three three as an event that much. I prefer Skube. Skube is my favorite event. Uh, so I have been practicing Skube a lot more um, than in the past, but 3x3 three three for sure is the most. Milo Cubes asked, um, do you have any tips for beginning, beginning modders? Uh, I've gotten tons and tons of requests to make videos of, about this stuff. And I will get around to it in about a few weeks, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. Nuclear Cuber asks, do you still exist, and do I like pyraminx? No, I don't like pyraminx. Do I still exist? Um, yes. DMC Cubes asked a few questions. The first one was... If I can have five cubes right now, what would they be? Um, I would have to choose more expensive puzzles uh, that I can't get right now because of their price and um, six by six, eight by eight, nine by nine, ten by ten, eleven by eleven. And uh, I think it would be cool to have the complete collection of n by n layer puzzles. And um, yeah. Because right now I don't have those puzzles because I don't really have an interest in large cubes. 
So I'm not going to spend that much money on larger cubes. So if I could just suddenly have any cubes appear, I would have those appear just to complete a collection. He also asked how many puzzles do you own? Uh, ballpark around 70. He also asked, do you see yourself with a sub 10 single next year? So meaning the rest of this year and the rest of next year. Uh, I don't ever see myself with a sub 10 single on 3x3. Three three. Uh, I never think. My goal is sub 20 and that's always been my goal. And After sub 20, I don't know what's going to happen. I, don't, I can't predict the future. Maybe I'll try for sub 15, but I don't think I'll ever get a sub 10. So, no. DG Cubes asks, who are you? Uh, who, 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 who? Epic Huber asks 10 questions, and the first one of that is, um, what shades do I prefer that come on my cubes? So I'm not sure um, what he means by this. Um, there could be two interpretations, so I'm going to answer two of them. If What stock shades do I like the best? You can interpret the question like that. If so, Mo Yu. Um, if you were just talking about shades in general, then I do have a custom color scheme uh, made specifically so that they contrast well, so that the green and the yellow contrast. Uh, it's light green, floral yellow, floral bright orange, red, white, and sky blue, uh, I believe. Uh, I'll leave that down below if that was wrong. But um, yeah, that, that's my shades. And those are all from the cubicle, by the way. Next question, do you always restick your puzzles? It depends. If it's my main and it's a black sticker cube, most likely yes. Uh, I have all of my current black uh, stickered puzzles that are my mains uh, restickered. Uh, although it's not really an issue if it's Moyu shades, I prefer my shades over Moyu shades, but I won't make a big deal out of it if it's not. So, yeah. Uh, I guess the answer is it depends. Do you know full OLL and PLL? I know full PLL. I know 43 OLLs, just about 45, I think, now. I've been... I learned them for a very long time, and then I realized that I can't just learn OLL and magically get faster. So I decided to stop learning OLL until I get sub-20, and that was a very long time ago. That was like six months ago. But uh, yeah, so I haven't learned OLL since then. And it's actually been very good. And I would suggest this to people. If you're halfway or like a little bit more than halfway done with uh, your learning your OLLs, take a break for a few months. And that time can be used very constructively to uh, concrete down your OLLs so that when you get back at learning them, it's like learning, it's like nothing is in your brain. It's like completely clear. And so recently I decided, you know what, I'll learn two OLLs because I just, I just feel like it. So I went back and I had nothing swirling around in my mind. Like, oh, I have to remember this one, this one. And previously when I was trying to learn OLLs, I would forget one when I learned one. Uh, it was a mess. And so this extra time allows for the opportunity to really get my OLLs down, get them faster, not have to think when they appear. So uh, that can be very useful. Uh, do you like the Rubik's Magic? No, I don't own one. I don't intend to ever own one. No. How long did it take you to get sub 20? Three years and counting. This next question by Epic Huber was also asked by uh, Sarah Roy. Are you going to Nats? No. Uh, I'm not. Origami Katakana asked, uh, what is your favorite video that you made? I really like this question. Um, it's very, very tough to choose. So I can't give a definitive answer. But um, something Hashtag Huber said, I think on our live stream a while ago, is that um, every new video that you should that you make should be the best video that you've ever made. And... Uh, I really believe in that philosophy. 
So that's what I always try to do. And although it's the same formula over and over again, and I tweak it every once in a while to make it better with better lighting, better mic, um, uh, I feel that the effort that I put into the videos improves every time I make a new video. I'm always trying to find a way to improve it a little bit. So, if you accept that as an answer, I guess you can use that. But uh, there's no one specifically that I like the most. SM Cuber, SM Cuber has the last question of this Q&A. And um, he asks, how do you lube a 17 by 19 by 90 by 17? So the first step you want to do is you want to travel into the fourth dimension because that is a fourth dimensional figure. And then you, I prefer weight 72 lube for this one. Um, if you don't know how to make that, you can go to my lube tutorial, um, how to make uh, lube at home better than Lubix. And um, that should give you some good steps to start. And I don't really lube the core unless there's a springy noise, which is annoying, obviously, so I have to do that in that situation, but usually I just um, lube the contact points of the cube, and then it turns much better in general, so yeah, and then you can travel back to the third dimension from that point on, so uh, hopefully that can help you improve your uh, 17 by 19 by 90 by 17. Anyway, that's about it for this one. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below, and that would be much appreciated. Like, share this video, and follow me on social media in order to be awesome, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.